Okay, so here's the thing that sucks. There's this really kind of messed up divide, right? The, uh, all of the money, 80% of the money in, in search marketing gets spent on paid search and 20% uh, gets spent on, on SEO. talking and sympathizing with SEOs, I think that you know there's a lot of kind of frustration as to what's going on there. A lot of times on SEO it's very hard to quantify things in a meaningful way. Well, you know you're moving up, you can see your rankings move up, but how do you convey that to people that you are monitoring an ad budget? SEOs are delivering all this value and only getting this much money in return. The reporting is always the big hurdle, you know? I mean, unless we can show value in what we're doing, it's really pointless. They want a thick report. So if you give them a thick report, they're gonna they're gonna tend to, to trust that. And SEOs do this every single month. It's not like they do this once. Your clients expect you to deliver some sort of a report every month. It's very frustrating and time consuming. It would get me anywhere from half an hour to five hours a day. <laughs> Three hours sometimes putting stuff together. Oh, I just got done with it. Guess what? It's only 24 more days until I have to do it all over a fucking gig. Big barriers to entry is that research cost, that initial baseline. So you need to do the background research. Everything from traffic to what your competitors are doing, are you using the right keywords, how your keywords are ranking. You can't know how much you can improve somebody's SEO campaign without knowing, without knowing something about what where they're at. I mean, SEOs are at a disadvantage having to deal with that monster uh, uh, that is the author. Getting people to understand the metrics around SEO. It's been very difficult. It has been difficult. So we wanted to, to try to solve that problem. I think that we can make a huge impact on SEO. Did you do it? Absolutely. So, so we just started to say, well, you know, what can we do? What, what if we could eliminate baselining altogether? There's, there's stuff that your software does that takes me hours and hours and hours to do. How much more value could you deliver if you didn't have to do the 60 hours or the 120 hours at the beginning? Spike is one of only a handful of companies that's positioned to do this. I mean, we've been, the data that's necessary. The drudge work of making the charts, making the graphs, doing the preliminary analysis, the data crunching. That data that he showed me, when overlaid with our own data, that's where the, the real magic is going to happen. You can start talking to your, your potential clients with full knowledge of everything that there is to know about their SEO campaign and all the opportunity. Then we could say, hey, this is the opportunity we have right here. Before you go in for your first sales meeting. And what if we could make it as easy for clients to understand the value proposition of SEO as it is for them to understand the value proposition of PPC? With being able to show with your reports whether it's going to be more cost effective on SEO or PPC, we're actually able to be even more performance based when talking to people. So that you can tie your organic placement to dollars or at least clicks. Here's the potential clicks that you could have gained if you had just focused on these, this area of keywords. We could be getting you 11,000 more clicks worth $15,000 that you're already buying on PPC. So give us, you know, $20,000 this month and you'll get $15,000 every month forever. It's going to be able to make us more, showing people just how uh, necessary our services are. You know, what if we could eliminate the volatility that the algorithm presents? Groupy, the keyword groupy thing, I, I, th I think that's going to be big, that's going to be huge. It drills down the groupings of keywords. So it, not only just drills it down once, sometimes twice, but sometimes even four times. Across all of your, your portfolio of keywords, across this entire keyword group, instead of this single keyword, we're definitely improving and very consistently so. What if you didn't have to spend any of your time building these reports manually? It, take, it definitely takes a lot of the time and work off of hands. And how much more value could you deliver if you didn't have to spend a few hours to a few days at the end of every month. It looks like a lot of it is automated, so uh, that's, that's saving us you know, a lot of client hours. But the most beautiful you know, uh, reports in the entire world are generated for you automatically every month. It's going to sell business for me. Saving me time. 
a lot of time and making it look prettier. But the decals look nice, they're fancy. But they're so professional, I love it. It's gonna make my job easier. Like these are reports that will get you more business. And they call you in to like, you know, sign up or, or do more works with you as an agency, then that's that's what it's for. That is the that is the promise, that is the reality of spy food recon files. We have not been able in seven years of doing this found a valid, a, a really good reporting tool. And, and, and the response was quite, I mean honestly, the best response that I've ever gotten from anything, any product that we've ever done. It was, it was uh, elation. That, that report you guys have is killer. I'm impressed. I can see what, what a difference it can make for a small company. Like we have a lady, I can go on a cruise now. Yes, I'm going on a cruise now when I get this off. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? This sounds great. And I can't wait, we're gonna try it. It's like uh, an exciting challenge, and, uh, and I think we can make a huge impact. And so, that's what we're doing.